Nothing like yogurt. Mm -hmm. You know what rhymes with yogurt? Mogurt. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and you're probably wondering what the heck is a Mogurt, right? Well, Mogurt actually stands for Motion Graphics Template, which is a file type that contains graphics and text that can be used in the latest update of Adobe Premiere Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own Mogurt inside of Premiere Pro. And the Mogurt that I'll be making is um, some text that you can use as captions in Square social media videos. And then the second part of this tutorial is actually done by my friend Orange83, and he's based in the Netherlands. So please be sure to check out the second half of his tutorial, which is gonna show you how to install the Mogurt file in Premiere Pro and use it in your own projects. So without further ado, let's go make a Mogurt. Okay, you guys, so I'm inside of the latest update of Premiere Pro CC 2017, the spring update. And here is this sort of lower third text or just caption text for social media. You can see it's a 1080 by 1080 frame. And then the text animates out. So I made this text graphic inside of the new essential graphics panel. And to start it off, you have to use the type tool. So before I go ahead and show you how to do that, let's go ahead and create a new sequence here. And if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to create a 1080 by 1080 Facebook video, I might teach you how to create your own custom sequence settings for that. So you should go check out that video. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this new sequence, a 1080 by 1080 for Facebook. And basically to start it off in the essential graphics panel, you don't need to pull up the panel, you just need to hit this T button here for the type tool and then just go ahead and click on your program panel here and type in the text that you want and then what this will do it actually pulls up the text inside of the effects controls but we want to see it inside of the essential graphics panel because this is where you will see the different layers that you create with the type tool. I created a separate tutorial on how to use the essential graphics panel. Um, I will link to that in the description box below. So let's go ahead and just type in insert line here. What we want to do is create a different font here. I'm just going to choose, let's say Bebas New. And then I'm going to create another text layer by hit, hitting this button here. And I'm going to type insert text line here also. Insert text line here also. To move this around, if you go over here to the selection tool, you can actually pick this up and drag it and place it to get the desired location. I'm gonna bring this down a bit here too. All right, the next step is to create uh, some rectangles and I had black rectangles and notice that the background defaults to black. If you want to create another color matte in the background, just bring up the text layer here in the sequence to video layer two. And then over here, I created a color matte. If you go to new item, you can create a color matte. And I'm just gonna drag this color matte below. And now you can see but it's actually quite difficult to see because the text is white. So to change that, all we're gonna do is go over here. Uh, we're gonna select the type tool. And I'm gonna change this to be a blue color down here. Change the fill to be like a bright blue color. And let's change the top text to be green. like a bright lime green, there we go. So now let's go ahead and create um, rectangles behind this text. So I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, a new layer here, a rectangle. I'm gonna make the fill black, okay? And then I'm gonna go down to the selection tool and just bring this over here and place it behind, because these are layers, just click and drag it down I'm just gonna resize it here using the selection tool. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this layer just by right clicking and hitting duplicate. I'm gonna pull this layer down below as well. 
and I'm going to just drop it down here so it lines up. But also since this text layer is longer, I'm going to pull it out like so. That looks pretty good. What about animating this, right? So it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is create mask. So inside the essential graphics panel, you actually can't keyframe in here. This is just where you build the assets for the graphics. You need to actually go to effects controls and here you will see that there is a layer for each shape that we made for each rectangle as well as the text. So this is where you can add keyframes. So for the first line here, so we want this um, rectangle to animate out from this location. So I'm gonna create a mask here, a four point polygon mask, and you'll see it defaults to this square with some feathering. I wanna get rid of the feathering, bring that down to zero. Now I'm just gonna resize this mask here. So right now we see the full rectangle but we want the rectangle to disappear in the beginning because we want it to animate out. So you're just gonna hit toggle animation here on mask path and then pull the playhead back and then click on the mask again and then pull the mask off screen. And this is just gonna animate out now. So you can see when you hit the play, the space bar for play, now you can see the rectangle just animates out and you can make it slower by pulling it out or you can make it quicker by making these keyframes closer together. See? Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now for the second line, uh, what you have to do is the exact same thing. So I'm going to just copy this mask by hitting Command C, and then I'm gonna paste it on shape number two. And now you'll see that it's here but we wanna pull it down. And obviously we need to change it because it's a, sh it's a longer rectangle. So let's pull this out. Make sure that the end is straight. Okay, perfect. So we wanna get rid of these keyframes here because those were from the previous shape. So we want this rectangle to appear here just slightly after this animates out. So this is a probably a good spot. Let's just move it here. And now let's go back a bit and let's just pull this mask off screen like so. And now the second line will come out. Now we need the text to animate on just after the rectangle. So, so let's just go back up here to the first mask and let's copy this mask by hitting Command C or Control C on a PC. Then let's scrub down to the first line of text, select it, and then hit Command V. And now the mask is pasted here with the keyframes. So let's move this over so we can see the text animate on after the rectangle, right? There we go. And we wanna do the same thing with the second line. Let's go back up and copy the mask from the second rectangle, Command C, and let's go down to the second line of text, select it and hit Command V, and the mask will then be pasted in this area. Let's go ahead and move this over so the second line of text will animate on after the rectangle appears. So right now it looks like this. So you can play around with the keyframes until it looks right. And then for animating it off screen, if we go back to the original, you can see here that I have it animate off. See? It would be the exact same approach, just the opposite direction. So for this shape, so if we want the text to animate off, we would just go forward at the location that we want the text to then animate off screen. Say so we wanna make this a little bit longer here in the timeline scrub through, and then we're gonna hit the keyframe button again, pull it forward a little bit, and then hit the mask, and let's just animate it out. So that's just animated and off screen. I'm gonna do the same for the text on line one here. So just hit the keyframe, pull the playhead a bit forward, and then click on mask, 
pull it off screen. And then you'll see another keyframe is made when you move it. Now back to the shapes. Let's go ahead, select a keyframe. We can move it right when this text starts to go off screen. Let's hit the keyframe button, move it forward, and then click on the mask and pull it off screen like so. And let's do it for the first rectangle. Hit the keyframe, go forward here, and then click on the mask and pull it off screen here. So when you play it back, it looks like this. But let's say that you wanted to save this as a motion graphics template with this animation. So you're going to right click on the graphics layer in V2 here in the timeline and then you're going to select export as motion graphics template. Then in the new dialog box, you can give your motion graphics template a name. And once you're done naming it, you can choose a destination such as saving it directly to your central graphics panel for future use. You can save it in your local drive or you can save it in the Creative Cloud library. And then you hit okay and you're done. So I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I make new video production tutorials every week. And if you have any requests, go to premiergal.com slash tutorials and leave your requests there. You can also get freebies from me each month if you donate $5 or more to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash premiergal. You can also support Gal by buying some awesome Gal t-shirts. And you can also buy some templates there that I've been making at premiergal.com store. So I'll see you guys very soon. In the meantime, I'm going to finish my yogurt. <laughs>